So in this section, we're going to be looking at functions. And to start it off, we're going to be looking at function machines. Now, if you really want to go to town on this, um, you can make your machine look any way you like. Um, when I was first taught this, uh, for some reason, my teacher liked to put some eyes on it and uh, maybe a couple of hands or something like that. Oh, there might be ears. Who knows? Um, you can put a hat on it if you like as well. Um, <laughs> you might be wondering, like, where is this going? Um, but all it is, is this idea that you are inputting a number in and then you are getting a number out. Okay, so um, maybe something like this. And all the function machine is doing, it may be multiplying by 2, for example. So we might put the number 5 in, and the function machine tells you what to do. So we're multiplying by 2, and so the output would, of course, be 10. And so this is a function machine. Now, if you don't want to, um, you know, blaze it with uh, a funny face, um, I... I'd be very surprised if they did that in the exam. Uh, it might just look like this. So 5 is being put into this, and it's multiplying by 2, and then you get out 10. So you might get something that looks really boring like that. So it's, all, it's only just to jazz it up a little bit. Um, so... That's essentially what we're doing here. So you can change this number. You could go, right, let's change it to 7. And now the output would be 14. OK? So a little bit of the language that goes with this. Uh, this is what we would refer to as an input. And this is an output. OK, so you have inputs and outputs. And of course, we can change this sort of times by two. We could put uh, plus six on there. And so you'd have seven plus six is 13. OK, so that's all that the function machine is doing. It is um, it's acting on the numbers that you're putting in. Uh, it could be addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we can work from the left and the right and, and make sure that we can actually apply those, um, those function machines in the, correct, in the order that you are processing them. But then we're also going to be looking at how we can link that with equations. So uh, if I gave you the equation y equals 3x take away 7, for example, um, if you had to draw a pair of function machines, in which order are you doing those operations? So there's a couple of things that will go with it, um, and then we're going to develop it further from there. OK, so let's see how we can use function machines uh, in the following videos.